all the cats are eating, tiger's food are defrosting, as well as over here. And I have just put some hot water in there to get it up to a nice temperature for the tigers to enjoy. So I just got an idea. I will be answering a couple of questions. And I do find a lot of questions. But I'm going to just jump in with the most difficult questions. Because I don't know if people are really interested in knowing certain small things about me. And I have had people asking me certain things. And I have answered them. And sometimes people are impressed with the answer. And sometimes they're disappointed with it. So, what is the hardest question in the world? Well, I'd say, what is the meaning of life? That is the first question. I'm going to answer it. All right, let me start. That is when two worlds come together, one physical and one not so physical. And we need to put that into a position where it can interact with other kinds like itself in an environment where everything is controlled to see the response and the nature of that specific energy. So that is what the world is for. Basically, a creation like a tiger but now a personality enters this tiger and it gets to experience another personality also in a tiger's body and then you can or they can experience each other and know what is happening and how they will find themselves that gives the personality in that body the advantage of growing if it wants to. So, look at Diego. He's a perfect tiger. But he's more than just a tiger. If he passes away someday, he will still exist in that personality form. That personality will have the ability to continue and that is what life does life brings more worlds together so that different species or whatever it is even animals and people can coexist it's basically a continuous test to see how well you are doing. And if you fail, it's not a problem. You can just keep on going. But you have to be careful that you don't grow negatively. So that is basically why we have a physical world. Because this physical world is only interpreted as a physical world. Because the senses that you have been supplied with picks it up as just that so yeah I don't know if people are able to break through this thing but these cats are both cats and they are experiencing each other and they are growing from it they've got their little family and they love each other but they will also lose each other and in that whole process, they will grow. Those personalities will be better off. Why else would there be a whole world? It is a school. It is a place of development. And everyone gets an opportunity to show what they can do. So it's basically a child going to school and having the opportunity to learn certain things and to interact with its own kind and that has got a result of growth or not so 
there it is that is the meaning of life it is an opportunity for a spiritual entity to interact with its own kind that has been limited to certain basics in order to get it to advance as quickly as possible. Oh, that's a long answer. I want to answer another question. I just have to think of one. <laughs> because people don't always realize how important it is to ask the right question. It is almost more important than to answer a question. Because a question gives away what you want to know and what you already know. So think about it like this. Let's say I show these tigers to a person. The first thing they ask me is, do you have a license for it? I get that a lot. Immediately, I recognize a certain part of that person's personality in the question. I've not met these people before. I've only known them for 10 seconds. But that is the question that they asked. Others will ask me the first question, what do you feed them? And then by the expression on their face, I expect them either that I will feed them live animals or something else. And the something else part is the nice part of it because that leaves room for them to actually consider if that is what is truly the case. So I do have a lot of questions that I get around the tigers and it is only human to want to ask those questions but it's the way and what you expect as the answer that will say who and what you are and on what level you are I just want to make sure his little tail is not on that side you can sit there by him Diego should give him a nice fright just to bring him back to earth <laughs> but yeah so be careful whenever you ask a question because you don't always know who you are asking that question to and uh, a question can be answered but once you've asked it there is no way of taking it back it is the same thing a question and an answer only I might just before I met anyone say to myself give me a question so I can see who you are and uh, yeah always keep that in mind it's like playing golf everybody thought that golf is for fun and I guess it could be for fun but it's actually so you spend two or three hours with someone in difficult situations, in good situations, while they might not perform as well on the golf course. Maybe he just misses the putt, but he gets angry. And now, in that golf game, you can see someone's personality. So if you want to employ someone, take them for a game of golf, and you can see how they do it. You can watch them closely. You can see if they cheat. You can, see, you can see all kinds of categoristics that is unique to that person. And you will get a lot of information from them. I shouldn't really tell these things because what's the point? Eventually, everyone stays quiet. Like the videos that I used to make, I never said anything on them because there was nothing to say. Everything that was happening you were able to see and assume and if you had the insight to the way that I am you would have seen that I would never feed a live animal to the tigers or 
do anything that your question might pose. Everyone's question is different, but at the end, nothing will be said. Think about that. Nothing. You will not have to give an explanation. You will not have to ask a question. Well, guys, that's enough. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that. I gave you something to think about. Tell me what your comments are, and if you've got some more questions, and I'm talking about difficult questions that you've always had throughout your life, ask me. I'm going to answer them for you. And if it's the right place and the right time, I will. But let's just leave it right there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And have a great day.